Hey everyone, it's Danielle from Exploring Alternatives and I'm here with Jeff McIntyre who's going to give us a tour of his 400 acre piece of land where he's living off grid most of the year with his family um, and doing some painting and a lot of cool stuff. So let's check it out. I guess it was 10 years ago we started to look, my brother and I. Um, and we looked, we looked all over Canada, but there was a real pull to the Utway region. We love the, the seclusion. I mean, we're sitting here on 400 acres. We want a place that's comfortable and has everything that we need to live comfortably. Um, but we wanted to keep it uh, as, as a wildlife reserve. I, I mean, our goal is for this space to remain exactly how it is uh, for a number of generations. So come on in. Uh, you know, in sticking with line with the concept of the outdoor living, we want this to be like a 1920s camp. This is the first one we built and it's a trailer that we got for 600 bucks. Um, took out the bathroom and kitchen and um, made it into our bedroom. So in a little space like this, it's a 17 foot trailer. We have room for our queen size bed and bunk beds for the kids. This was a great solution for making space for our family so that I can do my art up in the studio. We wanted to take the insulation all out um, just to make sure there were no critters. And uh, uh, I mean, this was very rough. So we wanted to put new floorboards in and uh, we are feeling very cozy in it. It's kind of like a nest. and. Yeah. And uh, you know, the studio is like our tree house. You know, if you're ever gonna buy an old trailer, make sure that the roof is covered yeah. because the snow will go through it. We just uh, built a shed roof over it so the snow can slide nicely. So on the lake, there's no, there's no power boats, there's no jet skis, um, there's a few canoes, there's some paddle boards over there. Uh, my fishing boat, I run, uh, I run with an electric motor. Between the studio lights, and me putting around in the boat, we run everything off this one panel on the dock and two marine batteries. Yeah. Now, because of for work and things like that, I do have internet access. I, I do bring my, my laptop and my iPad and, and all of the devices which I need to function. Uh, there again, though, it's just run off this uh, one panel. Okay. My kids, uh, they, they love it. Um, they've been coming here since they were very small uh, in baby backpacks and yeah. in snowshoes and pulled in sleds and uh, they're going to be quite the wild boys. Yeah. Because of the off the grid there are limitations but we are here in the winter. Uh, we um, snowshoe in, um, snowmobiling in can be done. Uh, we do a lot of cross-country skiing trips in, in February. Yeah. So I, I say we're here three seasons a year but we, we do spend uh, a large part of, of winter here as well and enjoying it. We are very careful about what we put into the lake because what goes in is going to stay there for a long time. There are a number of different water solutions that we could have come up with. You know, we probably could drink right out of the lake. Uh, I'm confident about that. But for washing dishes and all this type of thing, we have a line that runs from the lake with a gas pump. It pumps it all the way up that steep hill to a reservoir behind the behind the studio and then it'll run taps. We call it the open gate policy. Uh, we get a lot of families here. Uh, we also we're pretty involved with the arts community so we try and have a retreat get together here once in the summer uh, but always there's uh, guests coming through uh, and we love that. If you're going to be living in the woods for months at a time you know you asked about the loneliness well it helps when uh, People will come to you and you can, you can have special times uh, in the middle of nowhere. Um, this is kind of the, my studio, uh, as well as the cookie. Uh, the concept is kind of a, an old school camp. Um, so we built this structure as number one, my studio, but it's also uh, where we congregate for meals, to play cards. The original idea was of course, making it like a tree house. We wanted an outdoor space, so we didn't want windows. Mm -hmm. So we have a shutter solution, uh, which will keep it warm in the winter if we cross country ski in. And then we have a blind. So we had a sail maker make blinds with on a pulley system. So I can roll up the panels on either side 
uh, and it really is like being outside, which is nice for a month of the year, yeah. right? The idea is to keep it super simple. My buddy that helped me build it is an older gentleman of 80. Um, so I don't think you can find carpentry like this uh, in a lot of places. No power is the way we always wanted it. That being said, it is a functioning art studio. So I run everything on one solar panel. Uh, and that's enough to power my boat. That's enough to get my studio lights going. Uh, I tend to work on many paintings at the same time. Um, of a certain size. So you can see I brought in four big panels, so they would be completed with the studies which are hanging around. Once I get it the way I like it, I bring in big panels. So it's all very fluid working and I, I really love that. You know, as I mentioned, there is no power in here um, and we really appreciate it. We use, you know, lights from the 1920s. Um, we use a gas lantern, small propane light. We find this very useful even for getting the dampness out of our, our master bedroom down there. Really? We can bring this in and that what little thing will get rid of all the damp. The wood stove, um, you know, we, we run that all year round. That is enough once we have the shutters on to come in cross country skiing. Yeah. It heats up very, very quickly. Um, we use this small oven for cooking. It gives us everything we need. We do do a lot of the a lot of cooking on the wood stove as well. Yeah. As mentioned though, most of it happens on the lower deck. Mm -hmm. um, that's where the fire pit is. Okay. And uh, that's where a lot of the, the cooking happens in the dining. So, I mean, there's been lots of challenges over the last decade. Um, there was of course no structures on the acreage. So it was really just dealing with the environment was the biggest challenge. Um, but that's also the fun to figure out a way through it. Now, 10 years later, I mean, I'm much more comfortable here than I would be in any, any place in the world.